Welcome to Socially Served. I'm your host, Frank Sroka. And today with me in our studios, we have Stephanie Liss from the Toronto Western Hospital, a community mental health and addictions department. And as you know, with our programming, we're here to provide you with information on services and resources so you as a consumer can make an informed decision. So we'll be right back after this important message from our sponsor. Stay tuned. Equitech Employment Equity Solutions is Canada's number one subscription-based outreach provider. Equitech's outreach network takes your employment posting and job information and distributes it directly to over 800 outreach partners nationally. Driving the qualified candidates you're looking for right to your door. So why not connect to the largest diversity broadcast portal and be a part of Equitech's diverse and comprehensive outreach strategy today? Check us out at www.equitech.ca. Socially Served is sponsored by Equitech Employment Equity Solutions. Welcome back to Socially Served, and we're here to talk to uh, Stephanie Liss uh, from the Toronto Western Hospital Community Health and Addictions Department. Welcome to the show, Stephanie. Thank you for having me today. Oh, you're quite welcome. So we just sort of want to talk a little bit, if you could give me a, a little bit of background history about um, your department and what you do there. Yeah, so we have developed over the years and have managed to encompass quite a few services um, that we provide to the community. So we really, we focus on the clinic focuses on mental health and addiction and we offer um, detoxes for men and women and in the women's we actually offer day and community uh, groups. Um, we offer individual counseling, we offer different group programming at the Western, um, acupuncture, so quite a few different hmm. resources. So this is like, uh, it seems to be like a very innovative way to work with uh, addictions mm -hmm. and uh, it's almost like a holistic approach in Most a sense, definitely. right? It's holistic and we try to provide resources to individuals so that we can really help them at every stage of their recovery. So in terms of resources, so give me an example of what you're what you would think would be the resource in terms of if someone was to come into the program, um, they have, uh, for instance, you talk about the acupuncture. Uh, so how would that all work with, with what they're doing in terms of their therapy or recovery? Yeah, so the acupuncture is a great adjunct therapy um, to either the group programming or the individual. Um, so it, actually the acupuncture is great because it's a drop-in clinic. So you mm. just drop in during the hours and the two uh, count clinicians that are there can start can provide acupuncture for you. So there's not even a wait list or a wait time. You just show up and acupuncture is done for oh, you. Oh, that's fantastic. So yeah. is it like self-referred or uh, is it a self-referred program that people can... It depends on the resource that you're okay. looking for. The deet, oh, actually a lot of the resources that we have is self-referral. Um, the individual counseling can be self-referred. The acupuncture can be self-referred. Wow. The groups you can just show up and attend. Um, and those are held at the Western. And the detoxes you can call and just confirm that there's a space and you can, you can uh, get into the detox. Mm, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, so a lot of it is self-referral. Excellent. And is there a certain catchment area that we have to be aware of? There is. It's from as south as Lake Ontario. Uh -huh. um, in terms of the west side, it is Keel Parkside area, as north as Eglinton, and east side is Young Street. So within that area, well, you, it's you a pretty can, large area. Yeah, it provides a lot for the city of Toronto, the central line of Toronto. Wow. Yeah. So what specifically do you do? What's your part? What's your role in this whole program? So I'm part of the substance use response team. Mm -hmm. So what that is, um, I go and help individuals that are admitted to the hospital, provide them with resources, uh, education right at the bedside. So for wow. that program in particular, you have to be referred from within UHN. Okay. Um, it's not for the general. So that UHN health services is that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. 
And so that's the only, yeah. yeah, that's the only service that okay. you can't self-refer to. It's, okay. You have to be from within. Okay. That's good. So, so then you're, so you're really responding to patients that are admitted into the program basically, right? The, yeah, yeah. That's that your, are, sort of your role. And then, so, so this, how long has this program been running for now? The substance use response is mm -hmm. actually very new. Is it? It's okay. very new. Um, we, it had started and then stopped for a little bit and now it's restarted again up just this year. Uh, so it is a new service that we, we are providing within UHN. Um, and it's really just to make sure that individuals that are admitted are, you know, if they're going through withdrawal, they have that comfort. We mm -hmm. advocate for those clients. Um, and help provide them resources so that when they are discharged, they feel supported and they're able to get help for their addiction or mental health. That's excellent. So then that's really sort of, so what probably was a, a pilot in the beginning, right? I guess to see how, how yeah. the, what the needs assessment was exactly. for the community. And so now you've been, you, you know, put forth the program. And, and it's interesting that you, you're able to do the, the, the follow-up kind of like, provide that support for the individual mm -hmm. so that they know, uh, I guess in terms of resources, they know what's available to them, how do they continue to maintain themselves in the yeah. program. So maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so I find it's really helpful for individuals when they're admitted to the hospital to see me and meet with me. Um, and then it can provide some support after they're discharged. So they might come to my office and meet with me. So they mm -hmm. have that continuity of care um, nice. And then I can provide support again to help get them connected to resources once they're discharged. But it's I have found it helpful for clients to have sort of that familiar face from within the hospital and already have that great yeah. connection. Yeah. Yeah. As the point person to know, right? Yeah. Uh, and so in terms of sort of recovery and services, is there a lot of group therapy involved or is like that people can refer themselves to or like how, how's that whole approach done? So we really try to make it on the basis of whatever the individual would like to um, tap into. Mm -hmm. the, there's two groups at the Western Divine Divas and Double Recovery. Um, those that individuals can just join and show up to. Um, so can you tell me Divine Divas? Okay, you gotta tell me about this. Divine okay. Divas, yeah, it's a great program. It's uh, so it is an all women's program. Mm -hmm. It's a closed group, so only individuals right. attending can can jo can go uh, and join. Um, but they offer uh, each group is really about different topics and teaching you life skills and different coping strategies, um, and it is for addiction and mental health concurrently. So it really helps, um, you know, individuals can meet each other, they get that peer support. Uh, it is run by clinicians at Toronto Western, so you do get that as well. Um, but I, a lot of the women really like it. It's excellent. <laughs> I always see smiles coming out of that room. Well, it's sharing experiences, right? Mm -hmm. And then I guess it's sharing best practices too, right? What works, exactly. what doesn't work, how, you know, I guess the importance too is not enabling, sort of enabling, empowering people, but making sure that they don't feel that they're, it's just, they're alone, right? Yes. That they're going through this whole process, whatever it may be. Uh, on their own. So I think this is a lot of the success of this type of program. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. It's being able to not only gain those strategies, but making connections with other individuals that are, are experiencing the same thing or going through similar circumstances mm -hmm. and just having that extra support, I think is really what a lot of people need and, and want. Mm -hmm. the most definitely. Yeah. And so, so the, so the other group you were explaining to, there's the Divine Divas, the other group is, um, you mentioned. Double recovery. Yes. So that one is for all individuals can go. It's a close, again, it's a closed group. Um, mm -hmm. but, and it's for mental health and addiction. So it's again, to talk about different topics, um, and provide peer support to each other. Um, so, um, a lot of people also really enjoy that if they want the group setting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds excellent. Yeah. Um, so, uh, in, so in terms of number, like, do you have numbers or statistics when this first program opened up? So 
I don't know the numbers okay. from uh, nothing to compare to. Okay, we'll do yeah. some research and find out. Ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned. We'll bring you that that information. So we're going to take a quick break, uh, and we have a message from Accessibility Ontario uh, regarding AODA uh, policies and legislation. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back with Socially Served. Don't go anywhere. Podzeeper Media is a digital lifestyle publisher and community partner, bridging educational to vocational gaps in youth employment. We are based in Toronto, Ontario, and work with academia, corporations, and government. Podzeeper Media believes in assisting the youth and people with disabilities of today in finding rewarding job experiences in digital media. We take care of web design and web redesign, SEO optimization for your website, social media management, and campaign creation. Consultation for business development, video creation, and editing. Based on a successful pilot project with Service Canada, coupled with the federal government's mandate of the Digital Canada 150 initiative, Platt Zebra Media promotes a unique digital mentoring program with the support of the private sector and various levels of government. Academic partnerships between the Plaid Zebra publications and academic partners give students real on-the-job experience. Bridging the gap between youth unemployment by offering an engaging digital mentorship program. Sponsors benefit by having the support of wage subsidy to supplement costs during a mentorship experience. Reputation speaks volumes, dependable service even more. Trust the team at PZ Media to provide you with a customized solution to ensure your digital needs are effectively met. Plaid Zebra Media, bringing skilled students in the field of digital media and employers together. Welcome back to Socially Served. Thanks for joining us. And we're here with Stephanie Liss uh, from Toronto Western Hospital Community Health and Addictions Department. And uh, we were just talking a little bit about the programming at uh, the, uh, the, the health centre. And in particular, I think what we, we wanted to sort of look at is sort of like a daily, the daily life of, of, of Stephanie as, <laughs> as like starting from square one. So if, if someone comes into the hospital, uh, and they admit themselves. What's the what's the whole process? What's that like? A, a, sort of in a day, you know. What's yeah, involved? yeah. I'll take you through maybe a typical trajectory <laughs> exactly. of individuals. Exactly. That might be helpful in exactly. how to access our resources. Yes. Um, yeah. So typically, if somebody has been using a substance for a for a long time or are struggling maybe they're not using for a long time but are really struggling to mm -hmm. maintain abstinence or struggling to get it under control mm -hmm. um what ideally we would they're sent to a detox um to sort of help get that process started for them while under supervision so an individual can either depending on the gender um People who could go to Women's Own um, Detox, or we have Ossington uh, Men's Detox. So, and both of those are connected to UHN Toronto Western. So, what's involved with that process? So, those two are both non-medical detoxes. So, mm -hmm. it's for individuals that would be able to detox um, without any medical uh, concerns. If there was a medical concern that did arise, they would send them to Toronto Western to be medically cleared um, or pr provided with some medication to help them through their withdrawal. Okay. Um, alcohol in particular is a sensitive withdrawal and can lead to medical, um, need medical attention. So alcohol in particular is a substance that mm. um, we definitely take and watch more carefully um so going okay. back to the typical yeah. going as i digress um mm -hmm. an individual would go to one of the non-medical detoxes right. that we have and then from there they there's programming while you stay there uh they can stay there for it the, the duration really depends but they can stay there for a week two weeks depending and mm -hmm. while they stay there there are groups um, 
So you're not just sort of sitting there doing nothing. There's groups and you can get started on your recovery right there at the okay. time. Um, and then from there, once you're more stable, you can sort of graduate onto, they have a day program at Women's Own. Mm -hmm. So you can do, it's a 28 day program. Mm -hmm. um, so you go there every day for 28 days during the week. Um, and they do groups, help you with life skills, coping strategies, um, I, yeah, just provide really education and resources around um, your, the addiction and um, how to cope throughout. So from there, um, there's also community resources if you pr maybe didn't like that the day program and you wanted somebody more to come to your house right. that they or meet in the community, they have they do offer that as well. Oh. Um, and then, so once you do the day program, uh, maybe if you still require some support, but maybe not as rigid or structured, right. um, that's every day. You can move on to maybe a group program if you like the groups instead that I had mentioned before. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to jump back and say that while in the day program, they do offer the acupuncture. So they're all kind of tied together mm -hmm. um, that we were talking about previously uh, so the and the acupuncture they do it both at the um, day program at that location and also at the Western if you would Excellent. if you were at either location you can get acupuncture at both wow. um, and then from there if let's say you didn't like the group sessions but you wanted more individual they also we can also do individual counseling as well wow. And it's really customized. Yeah, it's really wow. it's customized and it's again supporting people all throughout the recovery from exactly. the very beginning to no loose ends. No, we really wow. try to cover all it's our amazing. bases to uh, provide help not only to everyone but again throughout all their recovery and at every stage of it. It sounds like an excellent. It is an excellent program. It, it is. Like, so yeah. So uh, so main like maintaining, making sure that once people leave the program, so you so they go into the the group therapy sessions, mm -hmm. they try out the little different holistic approaches to yeah. ensure that they're still on track, right? Exactly. Um, so do you have success rates in terms of like is very successful? Like this is very innovative. It's. I like to think, yeah, yeah, it is successful and mm -hmm. it is I, it is helpful for a lot of individuals. Excellent. Yeah. No, that's ter terrific. Yeah. So perhaps you can give our viewers sort of information um, where they uh, they can phone in or where they can go or how do they know learn more about the program? Yeah, so I mean, Google, you can Google um, UHN uh, and see from there or Women's Own. Um, sort of again it comes back to what they're specifically looking for um, if they want a lot of the resources are uh, at the Western on the ninth floor there's women's own is at um, Bathurst and Dundas so we're all all of it's very close together oh, excellent. Um, yeah it just it, again it depends what kind of service that they're looking for it's hard to say the best bet would be to go online and and, and look and, and search so that's and online search. what's yeah. the website do you know the website or, or we can put w, it up on, yeah maybe put it up we'll put it up on our screen yeah <laughs> okay i'm sure it's uhn.ca i'm sure that's what it is i'm sure we'll have it at the end of the show yeah. no problem so it's really been an interesting conversation with you to understand all about the services and resources available to individuals and it's been Wonderful having you on our show. Oh, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, thank you for coming. I enjoyed it. So, uh, I'd like to thank our viewers again for joining us at Socially Served, and we'll see you soon next week. Bye for now. <laughs>